Welcome to those who are joining us for the enrollment information session for the 24-25 academic school year. Bueno, gracias. Este, vamos a empezar. Eh, gracias a todos los que están con nosotros. Eh, vamos a empezar eh, con la sesión de inscripciones eh, para el año escolar académico eh, 24-25. I have placed an attendance Google form in a link in the chat. So if um, you would like to receive the enrollment form for next school year prior to the release of January 1st, please make sure you fill out this attendance form. He puesto en pantalla en los mensajes un formulario este, eh, para eh, lo que es eh, la inscripción eh, que va este, a estar eh, disponible eh, desde el comienzo de, del primero de, de enero. On this slide, you will see just general information for the Alamance Virtual School. We currently host students in grades 4 through 12. However, that is subject to change depending on the budget and enrollment. En la pantalla eh, se encuentra es la información acerca de los grados eh, que tenemos, eh, que es desde el cuarto a doce. Sin embargo, esto está sujeto a que se hagan cambios eh, de acuerdo al presupuesto. We currently have enrollment caps at each grade level. You will see here for grades four and five, it is set at 32 students per grade. Six in six through eight, it's 34. And in grades nine through 12, it is 33 students per grade level. Y como está reflejado en pantalla, eh, los estudiantes por grado eh, son de, cuatro, de cuarto a quinto, 32, eh, de sexto a octavo, 34, y de nueve a doce, 33 por nivel de grado. The enrollment form for new students for the 24-25 school year will be open from January 1st to February 1st. However, if you are in if you are here in this meeting and you fill out the attendance form, I will send that out to you next Tuesday evening and everyone will have an early opportunity to complete that. La forma de inscripción eh, para el nuevo año escolar 24-25 Eh, va a estar disponible el primero de enero y cerrará el primero de febrero. Sin embargo, las personas eh, que están presentes el día de ahora serán tomadas en consideración eh, eh, para eh, esta lista eh, de, de estudiantes para inscribirse. Enrollment in the virtual school is for one full academic year and Parents must complete and sign a learning commitment form that they will, are willing to make their child follow certain guidelines to be a part of the virtual school. Eh, eh, la inscripción es vigente para un año completo académico eh, y también los padres eh, tienen que firmar este un contrato eh, de consentimiento Eh, de aprendizaje eh, por duración de un año, eh, comprometiéndose a un año académico. The Learning Commitment Form has specific rules for AVS virtual learners. As I said, they have to attend for one full academic year. They have to use their district-issued Chromebook to attend class and submit work. They must have their camera on during the entire class and show their face on the camera. And they must participate in all state and national testing in person. Como fue eh, mencionado, el formulario de compromiso de aprendizaje que es firmado eh, eh, por los eh, padres y estudiantes eh, especifica eh, que deben de comprometerse a asistir un año completo académico en la inscripción. Eh, también eh, que tienen que entregar eh, todos sus trabajos 
eh, por medio de la computadora pro, portátil proporcionada este, en línea, mantener eh, su cámara prendida eh, todo el tiempo durante toda la clase, eh, también eh, que se les pueda ver el rostro en la cámara eh, mientras están en clase y también eh, toman parte eh, de todas las evaluaciones eh, estatales este, y también eh, nacionales de, de rendimiento, estas en persona. Our daily schedule is we begin at 8.30 a.m. and we end at 3.30 p.m. El horario de radio es que em, se empiezan todos los días de 8 y media a 3.30 de la tarde. We use Google Meet as the platform to attend class every day, and students do attend class every day. Eh, There's, usa, go ahead, uh, Carla. Se usa la plataforma de Google Meet eh, para asistir a la escuela. Eh, también eh, los estudiantes eh, tienen que asistir este, eh, todos los días. Assignments are completed in class. Students only have homework if they do not complete their assignments in class or if they are absent and have makeup work. Las tareas se completan en casa. Los estudiantes solamente eh, tienen tareas si no completan los trabajos durante clase o si no asisten a, a, a la clase. Students in grades four and five do attend electives or specials every day. On, on a three-week rotation between art, music, and PE. Los estudiantes de los grados cuarto a quinto, a quinto eh, todos los días eh, toman eh, las clases selectivas eh, rotándolas, tales como arte, música, y educación física. Students in grades six through eight also attend electives every day on a three-week rotation between PE, art, and music. Plus, they have one CTE class they attend every day. Los estudiantes del sexto al octavo grado eh, también participan en lo que son eh, la rotación tres veces a la semana de las clases electivas de arte, música y educación física, al igual eh, que las de eh, CITEC eh, de todos los días. Students in grades 9 through 12 follow a regular high school schedule with four classes each semester, and they will have electives based off of, um, they might have two electives and two core classes each semester. Y los estudiantes eh, de preparatoria eh, tienen sus eh, cuatro eh, clases eh, básicas eh, cada semestre, al igual eh, de dos clases eh, lectivas. Eh, con la o, oportunidad de, de determinar qué clase el, electiva eh, quiere. There is a daily intervention time for all grades 4 through 12 um, at a set time throughout the day, and they do work with core teachers in English, math, or science, depending on where their needs are. Y también hay un tiempo eh, todos los días eh, de apoyo de intervención este, eh, para todos los niveles de grado en eh, conciertos eh, maestros eh, de las clases principales en lo que es inglés, eh, matemáticas y ciencia, eh, abarcando eh, de acuerdo a la necesidad del estudiante. The students do have time built into their schedule for lunch. In grades four and five, they have a 45-minute block for lunch and recess time because that is required by the state. In grades six through 12, they get approximately a 20 to 25-minute lunch block as typical in the regular brick-and-mortar school buildings. Eh, los estudiantes de cuarto y quinto grado eh, tienen eh, eh, una hora de almuerzo de 45 minutos, al igual que también eh, tiempo eh, de recreo que es requerido eh, por parte del estado. Y los estudiantes del sexto a 12 eh, tienen un descanso de almuerzo 
eh, de 20 a 25 este, minutos. I wanted to make sure that parents were aware of the typical characteristics of a virtual student. Virtual Go ahead, Carl. Quería asegurarme que eh, los padres estén conscientes y que sepan eh, las características principales eh, de lo que es ser un estudiante eh, de manera virtual. The virtual student is self-motivated. Um, they are a manager of their time, good manager of their time. They have a personal commitment to do well. And they are someone who can effectively communicate their needs and what they need to know and ask questions. Un estudiante eh, que aprende de manera virtual eh, tiene que eh, ser, eh, se, se tiene que motivar por sí solo. Eh, también tiene que tener un buen manejo del tiempo, eh, mostrar, eh, tener un compromiso eh, siempre a nivel personal y saber comunicarse eh, de manera efectiva. The virtual student is also computer literate, goal oriented, meaning they have goals for themselves and they are one, they want to get their work done and they're focused. And they are also quite comfortable in cyberspace and maneuvering the virtual classroom. Y también el estudiante de manera virtual eh, tiene que tener eh, un conocimiento o le, estar eh, que le guste eh, el manejo de la computadora, al igual eh, de tener y saber y tener metas eh, establecidas que le guste eh, alcanzarlas y también eh, que se sienta cómodo eh, estando, se moviendo a través de, de manera virtual. These are very important, and if this is, if there is something here that does not necessarily describe your child, then you need to seriously consider whether or not the virtual school is the correct environment for your child. Y estas son eh, partes muy importantes, eh, porque si hay alguna de estas cosas que eh, no van bien o, o no coinciden mucho con su hijo, entonces eh, deben de eh, considerar eh, a lo mejor eh, lo que están planeando hacer, ya que estas son eh, partes muy importantes eh, en, en, en el aprendizaje. These are just a few pictures of some of our current students um, showing how they are have their own space and they have a desk and a tabletop set up, um, you know, so that they are um, in a an environment that is not only conducive to learning, but that they are comfortable as well. Y esas son algunas de las fotos de los estudiantes actuales eh, donde eh, muestra eh, cómo ellos ponen su ambiente eh, de aprendizaje, eh, de manera en donde ellos eh, se sientan más cómodos, eh, que ayuden eh, con el aprendizaje. Some advantages of attending the virtual school. We have small class sizes, um, a lot of limited distractions for the students so they can stay focused, and more small group and individual tutoring for students. Algunas de las ventajas eh, eh, de la escuela virtual es que son eh, clases más eh, reducidas o pequeñas, también eh, sin tantas distracciones y también eh, es un aprendizaje un poco más individualizado este, en términos de, de, de enseñanza o de tutoría. We have more one-to-one -one personalized educational planning with our school counselor. Students at the high school still have opportunities to um, take college and career promise classes through ACC. Eh, también eh, hay tiempo eh, más personal eh, con los estudiantes en términos eh, de reuniones con eh, la consejera o el consejero escolar. Al igual que eh, los estudiantes también tienen la oportunidad eh, de tomar este, clases eh, de nivel avanzado universitario eh, de acuerdo a la promesa universitaria. 
students are developing um, 21st century computer skills with different technology and digital learning platforms. And our high school students have many options through NCVPS for electives that we may not offer um, with direct instruction at the virtual school. También esos estudiantes tienen más oportunidad de desarrollar habilidades eh, de, eh, de la última generación eh, al momento de estar eh, utilizando este, innovaciones en lo que es eh, la tecnología, al igual que más opciones al momento eh, de aprender eh, por medio eh, de cursos en línea eh, proporcionados por el estado de Carolina del Norte de aprendizaje virtual. These are just some photos of our annual back to school bash where students come with their families to pick up their device, meet their teachers and learn more about all of the different options and opportunities at AVS. Y estas son algunas de las fotos de los estudiantes eh, que han eh, regresado a la escuela virtual al momento eh, de estar eh, recogiendo sus dispositivos eh, para prepararse para el nuevo año escolar y eh, también eh, la oportunidad de eh, compartir con los maestros. At the middle school level in grades six through eight, we do have a Club Friday that meets every Friday morning at 8.30. And the clubs listed here are the AILA Club, Chess Club, Choreography, College and Career, Cooking, Drawing. They have a Mediate Lounge, which I think would be really neat, and Science Adventures. Y esos son eh, algunos de los clubs eh, que los estudiantes de sexto a octavo eh, tienen. Eh, se reúnen en la mañana de manera virtual a las 8.30 de la mañana. Este, eh, tienen eh, lo que es el ajedrez, el club del ajedrez, coreografía, eh, también preparación universitaria, eh, cocina, eh, dibujo, eh, también eh, meditación, eh, que es algo nuevo, y también este, en relación a, a, a las ciencias y aventuras en estas. The first club listed, Ayla, is Alamance Youth Leadership Academy and students who are interested, this is a service organization, must apply in February of their sixth grade year. Eh, y eh, Ayla, eh, que es este, una abrevación para lo que es el club de la Academia de Liderazgo este, de Jóvenes eh, de Alamance, este, está disponible y tienen que eh, meter una aplicación este, para los que quieran ser parte de, de este club. We have a very active PTO, Parent Teacher Organization at AVS. And you will see here um, there are opportunities to join PTO. The, the monthly meetings are the first Tuesday of the month. We also do Dragon Adventures where the students get to meet up once a month for some fun times that are also educational. And we also have dining with dragons once a month at a local restaurant and a percentage of the proceeds comes back to the PTO, which helps to support our school. Bueno, y tenemos también el consejo de padres y maestros eh, que se mantienen muy activos. Eh, tam, eh, eh, se reúnen una vez al mes, eh, todos los días martes, eh, teniendo este, actividades o reuniones como la aventura eh, de dragones, así se llama, eh, que se reúnen los segundos martes de, del mes, al igual que ir a, a cenar este, en algún restaurante eh, local de Alamance eh, y los fondos eh, de esas reuniones de, de la cena eh, son eh, dados también eh, como ayuda a lo que es la organización de padres y maestros. These are just a few pictures of Dragon Adventures. Like I said, uh, some of them are totally for fun, 
we're going roller skating next week. And some are also incorporated with some academic learning with lots of the different areas that we have here, such as the, the battleground. Dice, bueno, y estas son algunas de las fotos de las actividades o de las aventuras. Dice, iremos a patinar eh, justo la, la siguiente semana, al igual eh, que eh, tener otras este, más eh, enseñanzas eh, alineadas a lo que es el aprendizaje eh, en, en los parques. Our high school electives at the virtual school, all of these electives here, with the exception of the bottom two, are all taught by teachers here at the virtual school. We have creative writing, psychology, of course, physica, physical education too, and Spanish art and music. We do offer a variety of CTE courses, and then students can take electives online through Apex or the NCVPS platform. And stu students do still have the opportunity to take AP courses here at the virtual school. Bueno, y las clases eh, electivas eh, que son ofrecidas eh, en lo que es la preparatoria, escritura creativa, psicología, también eh, educación física, español, arte, música, al igual eh, que algunos cursos también de carrera eh, técnica profesionales, también eh, por medio de la aplicación de Apex, algunas selectivas, eh, y al igual que también algunos este, cursos eh, de clases este, avanzadas eh, por medio de, del aprendizaje virtual de Carolina del Norte, de la plataforma. High School also offers club opportunities that meet every Friday at 11.30 prior to the lunch block. We have Art Studio, Chess Club, Book Club, FTA for future teachers, sign language, young historians, and then, of course, we do virtual board games with students. También hay clubs para los estudiantes de preparatoria. Eh, se ven todos los viernes eh, a las 11.30 antes del almuerzo. Um, estos clubs es con artes, eh, ajedrez, eh, lectura, eh, también este, el, el club para preparar a nuevos maestros eh, aquí en Estados Unidos, también lo que es el de señales eh, de los eh, estudiantes jóvenes y también algunos este, juegos eh, de manera virtuales como la verdad. And while students are at AVS, they still have the opportunity to participate in sports at their zoned school. So the school in which you are currently living with your home address, students can participate in sports. Eh, también los estudiantes tienen la oportunidad eh, de, de participar en los deportes en la escuela eh, designada de acuerdo a la dirección de su hogar, eh, tienen esta oportunidad. AVS does also have their own graduation ceremony. Um, this will be our third graduating class coming out in 2024. These are just some photos of our group from last year in 2023. Our graduation does take place at Williams High School. Y bueno, también eh, los estudiantes que estudian de manera virtual tienen la oportunidad de tener su, su graduación. Dice, eh, esta eh, sería, estamos celebrando eh, la tercera, estaríamos celebrando la tercera graduación del 2024. Eh, y estas eh, graduaciones eh, se llevan a cabo en la preparatoria eh, eh, Williams. And that basically is the presentation. This would be a great time for questions. Um, and again, if you have joined us after we started, Mr. Vernon has put the attendance form in the chat. It, we would greatly appreciate you completing the attendance form so that um, you can also um, request more information and we can send you the enrollment form early. 
Bueno, y básicamente eso es todo. Este es el momento eh, para las preguntas. Eh, de igual manera, este, eh, el señor Vernon ha puesto en, en la pantalla, en el chat, este, eh, la lista para que eh, pongan su, su nombre eh, de asistencia. Y eh, si tienen algunas preguntas, este es el momento. Are there any questions? Hay algunas preguntas. Um, yes, I have a question. Yes, ma'am. Um, are you um, are, are you able to? Yes, are you able to enroll at any time, or it has to be the beginning of the year? It's the beginning of the year. However, um, if, for students in grades nine through twelve, if we have open um, seats, then we will enroll students in the virtual school for the at the beginning of the second semester in January. It just depends on if we have availability. Okay, thank you so much. Are there any other questions? Hay alguna otra pregunta? Yes, Ms. Jones. Hey, um, for the part, of, uh, those the grades that they'll be in for the next school year, um, but it's for kindergarten for so the Spanish immersion. Is that the? I, I'm sorry. Say that again, ma'am. Um, in the application or the attendance form that he sent in the chat, um, while filling it out, I seen where it said what grade they would be in for the next year and I wasn't sure what to put for someone going into kindergarten. We don't take anyone going into kindergarten. Kindergarten through third grade are um, currently at a brick and mortar traditional elementary school. We are only for grades four through 12, ma'am. Okay, so this is, a, is this not the Zoom for the Spanish emergence? No, this is um, this is for the virtual school. We just did a, a Spanish presentation tonight for those parents who um, uh, needed to um, hear the presentation in Spanish as well as English. But no, this isn't for the Spanish immersion program. I'm so sorry. Thank no you. problem. I, I have a question. Yes. Um, is the process to get in, is it um, first come first serve basis on applying or is there a selection a process to it? Um, it is basically sort of a, yes, it's it's a, in order of the receiving of the enrollment form. Um, and so therefore anyone who attended last week's session this week or next Tuesday, next Tuesday evening, I will send out the enrollment form for the 24-25 school year to all of those people at one time. So therefore, you guys can go ahead and fill it out. The, it will not actually open to the public until January 1st. Um, and then again, it will depend on the number of seats available based off of returning students. Students who are currently enrolled in the virtual school will stay enrolled unless they um, choose to return to their zone school or they move out of the county. Um, so therefore, it just depends on, my number will depend on really truthfully how many return to us or stay with us. And right now we are not full in any of our grade levels. We have approximately five to seven slots open in each of the grade levels. Um, so we're hoping, I, I, I figure it will pretty much stay that way for next year. I, I can't say for sure. Okay, thank you. Okay, you're welcome. You're welcome. Um, I have another question. <laughs> Um, yes. If they, um, since this is their first time doing virtual learning, is the, could they change their mind halfway through the year and go back to regular school? Is that, is that a possibility? If No, ma'am. Part of the, the commitment is that they will stay for the full academic year um, because um, 
we feel like that um, it's just easier rather than them having to tra- rather than them transitioning back. Um, a lot of what we do is is online. It's, um, you know, all of the assignments, everything's done online and turned in, submitted through Canvas. And a lot of that is not the, the same in the, um, the brick and mortar um, schools, traditional schools in our county. But um, no, the the board made their decision and it is if they sign up, it is for one academic year. Now, at the end of that academic year, if you decided it's probably not the best situation and you want them to return to their zone school, you can pull them at the end of the school year. That's not a problem. If you move out of county, if you were to move out of Alamance County, you absolutely would have to pull them from the school because students can only attend the virtual school if they are addressed and live within the Alamance County um, lines. If that's all the questions for this evening, um, then we are going to end our presentation. However, if you think of something, then please reach out to me Um, via email. You can find my email on the website. Um, And if you need Spanish interpretation, um, please make sure that um, you will um, let me know and I will forge your email on to Ms. Fuentes. Bueno, si esas son todas las preguntas para el día de ahora, bueno, eh, cerraremos esta sesión. Eh, Sin embargo, si por algún motivo eh, llegaran a tener otra pregunta, Este, pueden mandarme un correo electrónico. Eh, mi correo electrónico está en la página principal de la escuela y puede hacerlo en español y este, enviaremos este, la información este, para que sea eh, traducida. Thank you all so much for coming this evening and have a good night. Gracias a todos por venir y que tengan buenas tardes.